Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Sotanacho, and this tutorial I'll be showing how you can easily color grade your photos in Photoshop from the very start to the very end. So, this is going to be a raw processing kind of tutorial, and I want to show you and I want to only focus on how to color grade your photos when it comes to Photoshop from processing the raw photo to the skin tone corrections and correcting the blacks and everything. So I'm just going to come to the raw image right here and I'm simply right click. I'll right click and I'll just come to open with Photoshop 2025. So I'm using Photoshop 2025. So what you have to do after opening up the raw image in your camera raw, it is going to open up the camera raw filter automatically. So the very first thing, whether I showed this using natural light, so the very first thing you have to do is coming right here and correcting the highlights and the whites in the image and that makes the image looks a little bit better so I'll just come and add some contrast to the image up to around 13 looks okay then after doing that the next thing I'm going to do I'll simply come to the shadows and slightly open up the shadows of this image then after that I'll just come the blacks and turn the blacks down slightly then I'll open up the exposure of this image a little bit. I think that is okay. So I feel like the image is leaning more on the cool side. So I'll just come to the temperature slider. So with temperature, you can either warm up or cool your image. So by moving the slider towards the right hand side, you're warming up the image. And towards the left hand side, you are cooling the image. So I just want to add a warm feel to the image up to around 5900 i think that looks better so after that the next thing is going to be coming down to our color adjustment so we're going to do this in two phases we are going first of all do it in the color mixer option and later on in the point color option so we are first of all we are going to come to the color mixer and under color mixer we have hue saturation and luminance so a hue is when you're changing a given color for example you can change the greens to the color of your preference then saturation is the intensity of a given color so you can increase on the intensity of the greens or you can reduce on the intensity of the greens then luminance is the brightness levels of a given color you can either darken the greens or you can brighten up the greens so basically that is how hue saturation and luminance is going to be working on this image so for this i'll first of all come to the hues and play around with the hues of the greens and the yellows because i always tend to prefer to alter or change the greens in the background or in the greens of the photo so i'll just come and change the greens towards the aquas just like that and i'll do the same for the yellows but as we're doing this it's going to make the greens over saturated so i'll just come the saturation and reduce on the intensity or the saturation of the greens and also reduce on the saturation of the yellow slightly so I'll just take this down a little bit more so I'll come back to the hues and also just back this down a little bit to have more of the yellows within the background so the reason for doing this is I always want the model to pop out of the background so after I've done this, the next thing is going to be coming to the oranges and the reds. So I'll just come to the reds and make the reds towards the oranges by moving the slider. And I'll do the same for the oranges by moving them towards the yellow side. So what this is going to do, it is going to eliminate the redness from the skin tones. So after you've done that, the next thing is going to be coming to our luminous and i want to darken the skin tones just a little bit by taking the oranges down so that is what we have right now so after we have done that the next thing is going to be coming to our point color under point color simply get the color picker tool or the eyedropper and i'm just going to sample the greens so when you sample the greens you can change the greens even more so i'm just going to change the greens of this image so you can either around with those greens so i just want to mute the greens even more and i'll simply 
darken the greens by taking down the luminance so this is the image before and after so this is where we are right now so this is the image before and this is where we are right now so when you feel like the image is a little bit dark you can come back to the basic adjustments and simply brighten it up a little bit more and take down the whites or add some contrast to the photo so before after so after you have done that next thing is going to be opening the image into uh photoshop so i'm just going to come right here and simply click open open the image into photoshop so since we are focusing more on this kind of process we just want to color grade remember so in order to color grade what we have to do first of all when it comes to photoshop so this step i'm about to do is to be done after you have done the skin retouching and working on the overall image so i'm just going to come to photoshop and after opening the image in photoshop you can proceed with the evening out of the skin tones after you have done the skin retouching so for this i'll just come to the adjustments right here and simply come to gradient map so I'll just come and hide the gradient map icon and simply select the gradient icon rather so make sure the layer mask is not selected make sure the icon is selected then after doing that just come to where you see the gradient properties or the color and make sure the sample is set to 5 by 5 average then after doing that just simply left click on this pointer on the left hand side and make sure the location is zero left click on the color option and now zoom into the image and you sample a darkest color within the skin tone skin tone so i just sample that as the darkest color i'll click ok and do the same for this click once again on this pointer and choose a brightest point of the skin or the skin tone of the model so i'll just come out and i'll sample this as my brightest point of the skin tone so i'll just look for a bright point of the skin i feel like that is bright enough and i'll click ok so i'll simply undo this a little bit so click here so you can see that we have two pointers and we don't want to have these two pointers so we are going to do it for the bright point once again so just choose a bright point and click ok then you're going to click in the middle and type the location 50 and click on the color option and just choose what you feel is the mid-tones or the mid-tones of the model skin and click ok so you can set it has mapped the skin tones from the darkest to the brightest and if i told you want to change for example the mid-tone color just change it by clicking once again on the pointer and you look for what should represent the mid-tones and click ok and click ok once again come and select this layer mask and simply turn it on change the, the blend mode from normal and change it all the way down to color and you can see it is affecting the overall image select the layer mask right here and simply press ctrl i on the keyboard to invert the effect so after inverting the effect you can simply come right click and get the normal brush tool and after getting the brush tool what you have to do make sure this is set to black and white or you can reset by pressing d on the keyboard or left clicking on these two color swatches so after you have done that anything is going to be with white as the foreground color or pass the flat 100 percent you can increase on the size of the brush by using the bracket keys on the keyboard and just paint over your subject skin so i'm just going to come and paint just like that and you can see by just doing this it is adding a little bit of the saturation to the model skin so i'm just going to do a quick one right here so you can see the skin is now looking better and somehow even but it is a little bit too much so we are going to be correcting that later on so let me just paint quickly so i think we are almost there so if at all you somewhat make a mistake you can always correct that mistake by switching by switching the brush back to uh, black and black is going to erase the mistakes that you may have uh, done so i'm just going to switch it back to black and zoom into the image and with a small brush 
reduce on the side by using the bracket keys on the keyboard and you can paint just like that so i'm just going to paint just like that to erase uh, the extras that i may have painted so you can see that we had painted even on this kind of band so i'm just going to erase the colors from those areas so i'm just going to erase just like that and erase it from the eyes too and for the areas that you haven't painted you can now switch the brush back to white and paint those areas so i'm just going to come to the hair and also erase it from some of the strands in the hair so command minus to zoom out so we haven't painted right here so just use a small brush and paint on those areas so after you have done that the next thing is going to be of course reducing on the opacity because sometimes we tend to overdo the color grading so I'll just come the opacity right here and simply reduce on the opacity because that was a little bit on the higher end so right now this is okay before after so if i told it is too much you can as well continue reducing on the effect to your liking so i'll go with around 37 so it's a before after so after doing that anything is going to be correcting the blacks in this image and if at all you want to change the greens you can proceed so just come to the adjustments right here and simply come to selective color come and select the blacks and just come to the cyan's and take the cyan's up just like that to intensify the blacks and you can take the yellows down to cool down the image a little bit and you can intensify the blacks by taking the black slider higher and if at all you want the greens to pop a little bit more you can always come and select where the greens are and with the greens selected simply play around with these sliders you can see you can intensify the greens and make them pop by moving the magenta slider towards the left hand side so i'll just make mine pop a little bit more because they were overly muted so i think that is okay so it's a before after before you can see how correcting the blacks has made the image look better so one other thing that you have to do or you can do is make the image pop so just come and create a levels adjustment layer and simply hold down the option key on the keyboard and click on the brightest pointer right here so just with holding down the option key or the alternate key and start dragging and stop at the point where the, the colors are just starting to appear in the image just like that and you're going to do the same for the whites left click and stop at the point on on the blacks you have to stop at the point where the blacks are just starting to appear so this is the before after for just making the image pop and it looks better and it is popping so if at all you feel like the oranges in the image are a little bit more on the higher side you can always come to the hue and saturation and come to the reds and come the lightness of the reds and take down the reds you can see that is only going to be affecting the skin tone just like that so i'm just going i'll just reduce on the lightness of the reds so by just doing that we have been able to color grade this image from the raw format that it was and we have made it look better in photoshop so if at all you have enjoyed this simply like this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel if at all you have been watching and you can see a before and after for just the photoshop work before after before after like this video don't forget to subscribe if at all you're watching and you're not subscribed to this channel ronix from ronix photography Thank you for watching. I'll see you in more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.